Hi, I am Manila Luzon, and welcome to my home. This is my new show called Inspiring. And it's about me inspiring you. I get so many gifts when on my travels from my fans, and some of them include some amazing fan art, lovely letters, and sometimes a little interesting things, homemade, I don't know what they are, pieces of, well, I don't know. Well, we'll talk all about this right here at Inspire. Today, I'm gonna to require some assistance from my friend, my neighbor, my buddy pal, and my assistant on the road, Christian. Poof! Hey, sorry I'm late. Give me a hug, this is to you. Hey. <laughs> so, you travel with me all over the place, mm -hmm. and sometimes at the meet and greets, fans give me some cool things. So Christian comes on the road with me, and he helps carry some of my bags, because I do travel with a lot of luggage. Yeah, eight bags. We need lots of room for Manila's costumes. We need lots of room for Manila's fan art and things along the way, just like this doll. <laughs> Someone had made for her along the way. Look at this fucking doll. <laughs> it's so cool. Someone crocheted this. Mm -hmm. It's my pineapple dress. I think it's really good too. I like, she's got hips, cause you know, I pat out. She's got titties, little ones, cause she's a model. And of course she's got the, the blonde streak in the Look hair. Look at the detail. All right, we have this. Mmm, yes. This one is, um, let's see who it, it's by Babette. And I, this is a sketch. This is a good one too, right? Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Yes, I love the pencil sketches. That one's, they're some of my favorite. I love sketching with my pencil. Sometimes you get something like this, which is super cute. Look, <laughs> look at this. She was probably like four or five, right? I mean. Um, actually, this is given to me by a grown adult. No, I don't know. This, I think it's from, from one of my younger fans. It says, to Manila, which she spelled correctly, so A plus, from Kila. Kyla? She painted me a rainbow Let's with the see. sun and an ex upside down exclamation point. Or maybe that's just me with a green wig. Look at this. This is amazing. Yeah, this Look one is so by Oline Warburg Nilsson. What does this mean to you when fans, you know, create and they give you art? You know, I have a certain way of doing my art and I don't really get to do it very often. Mm -hmm. So I really enjoy when I see different people work with different mediums. Mm -hmm. Some are sketches, some are painted, some are digital. It's really cool to see the different mediums in which they produce the artwork. And it's really cool to see the different styles. Like this one I, I feel is, is quite photorealistic. It I, looks kind of like a photo, yeah. right? And I just noticed the hand, the dark hand reaching Yeah. So this is a photo of yeah. me in my gorilla outfit, so oh, it's really cute, yeah. This next one is uh, <laughs> definitely a memory for me because I, I wasn't here this day of DragCon, but I was there with you with Raja and... Uh, oh yeah. Okay, tell me about that. Raja and I showed up to DragCon dressed like our version of Patty and Selma from The Simpsons, so this was really fun. <laughs> Always fun to get dressed mm -hmm. up with Raja. <laughs> Raja was on The Simpsons, yes, exactly. So yeah, she actually out. is a Simpsons character. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh dang. This one has a, I want to say Ryan Olson mm -hmm. is the person that drew that. I think I got this in Minneapolis for Pride. I was home in Minneapolis, I was doing Pride, and a, and a fan gave this to me. It look inspired by my Imelda Marcos look, and then there's yeah, different shoes that yeah. have like my looks on it. It's a mixed media. Look, there's even a pom-pom. Even a, I, is that a noodle? So what do you do with all of this art? <laughs> I hoard all of my art. I, I, I really appreciate all my art, so I keep it. It's hard to throw things away, huh? Well, yeah, and I'm a hoarder, so you've been to my house, yeah. so you know. My fans are so amazing, and they put all this time and effort into making these things, and then coming to my show, and even like paying the meet and greet tickets, the VIP tickets, okay. so that they can actually hand me these pieces of art. So I definitely tend to keep everything, letters and everything. And so now this is the perfect place for me to share all this amazing art and talent to the viewers that watch at home on their phones. All right, how about this one? Tell me about this one. This one is actually one of my artworks. This is not a fan art. Yeah. What is it's doing? Totally it? Just grab this. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I wanna... <laughs> this is my fashion illustration of one of my looks from my music video, Glamasaurus, my Betty Rubble look. 
And this is the illustration that's featured in my book, Fine Apple Couture, available at manilaluzon.com. Link below. And actually, the, these photos, this one, and yes, this is um, a gown designed by Marco Marco that is featured in my ice cream video, and this is also in my Fine Apple Couture book. And I will be raffling off these pictures at RuPaul's Drag Con NYC 2019 at the Jacob Javits Center in New York City on September 6th, 7th, and 8th at booth 324. <sighs> yeah, don't you want this in your living room or in your bathroom so you can look at? All right, plug over, commercial over. This is, a, it looks like a cross stitch. Manila Luzon, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. Um, from Steven and Lynn Buck. The Derby Oaks Party Play Dance Bar, Louisville, Kentucky, May 3rd, 2019. Yes, bitch, it is documented, notarized. They have the date, it's signatured. You should have this hanging on your wall. Like, it be is, a it is that's hang on that's my why, wall. That's why it looks like my I swear, I swear. I hang this on my wall. It's, it's really cute. cute. I mean, honestly, if my fans give me with their artwork in a black frame, it automatically just goes on my wall. Okay, this one though. I think I was, I don't know if I was with you for this, but that is just beautiful. This is by Edward Yao. That is so good. That's beautiful. That is a lot of, that is a lot of pencil. I think it took him probably like 10 minutes probably to make. I bet you he is so super talented. No, this looks like it took him a lot of time. First of all, he got all of my features in the right places the correct places, not where my actual features are, but where they should be. All my wigs are ratted, pretty yeah. much. So I love that he even has that detail in there. <laughs> oh, this one's great. This one is one of my cross-eyed images. <laughs> hey Manila, I hope this inspires you at least 1% of what I'm inspired by you. Check out the Brazilian fruits I put in. Oh no, 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 this, this, the fruits that she drew me in. What is that fruit what called? They were so good. Oh. Uh, if you know what this fruit is, please comment and tell me below because these Brazilian fruits are so tasty. Isadora, thank you. This is great. Oh, this one. I love this one. Tell me about this Bob Ross look and your talent show. When we went to All Stars, we were supposed to have a, a, a talent show and I didn't want to get kicked off the first day of All Stars 4, so I thought I would switch it up and try something different. So I thought that I would create um, a painting or an illustration or draw or show off some of my other skills besides, you know, just looking sickening, okay? And at RuPaul's Drag Con NYC 2019 at the Javits Center in New York City, New York, on September 6th, 7th, and 8th at booth 324. This will also be raffled off. Small, little, petite, manageable size version of my upside down painting that I did on All Stars 4. So, see you at DragCon and maybe this could be yours. Yours! Thank you for watching Inspire Me. I hope I inspired you to watch some more. If you want to see some more of Inspire Me, make sure that you click the follow, the subscribe, the, what is it, the like? the bell notification. Okay, make sure you do that and then it'll let you know whenever there's another video. Okay. Ah! <laughs> and if, uh, if you hated this, um, leave hateful comments in the comment section below. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> Mwah.